All right, let's do some medical coverage now. We've got Mercy Dr. Barbara Bumberry joining us this morning. Doctor, thanks for making a house call Welcome. this early. We appreciate it. So we're talking about a couple of very important things uh, for people um, to consider as they age. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that you know can happen to all of us. So Hopefully. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we hope, right, if we follow your, your advice, mm -hmm. that is. So downsizing some, is, uh, is a topic that as people age, maybe they don't necessarily think about. Uh, as they as they get a little older what would you recommend there yeah so as you get into like your 50s or 60s maybe your empty nesters getting close to retirement if not already and thinking about less upkeep less space mm -hmm. and so if you decide to move into a smaller home there are things that you want to think about if you want to stay in that home for a long time because your health may change mm -hmm. over time so the first thing is stairs um, if you've got a house with just a couple of stairs to get in or out of it, that can make a big difference if you have somebody that uses a walker or a wheelchair. So a no-step entry is ideal. On the interior, uh, if you can get a ranch house that doesn't have any steps, if not, try to at least get the main bedroom, the bathroom on the ground floor, and then let the guests or the grandkids sleep upstairs or downstairs. And then also if you have interior steps, Carpeting is better than uh, wood steps because they're less slick and you want to make sure you've got a railing ideally on both sides of the stairs. Mm -hmm. uh, you want lots of light, whether it's natural or artificial. So mm -hmm. if you get up in the middle of the night and you're walking down the hallway, you don't want to trip over a box that's laying on the floor. Of course. Um, you want nice big wide hallways and doorways. So if you do at some point end up in a wheelchair mm -hmm. using a walker, You've got a little bit more uh, space to manipulate around. Mm -hmm. In the kitchen, uh, try to avoid high counters or high yeah. cabinets because what you don't want to be doing is climbing up on a chair or a step ladder or even trying to climb mm -hmm. up on the counter to reach things. And if you have a dishwasher, have it in the corner of the kitchen. That mm -hmm. way, when the doors open, you're not having to walk around it all yeah. the time. Yeah. If you've ever bumped into one of those when they're open, oh, you know boy. it can hurt. And yeah. if I'm you're always... on a blood thinner, <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. I'm always like hitting my knee or stubbing a toe at some point. But yeah. and, and of course, a lot of that in the home, a lot of those things in the home, um, uh, there are some things like as far as like location goes. I mean, even where sure. you live. Yeah, you want to try to be near the services that you're going to use the most. Your physician, pharmacy, church, parks, because as you get older, maybe your vision's not as good. So you don't like driving at night or you don't like driving on the highway or in heavy traffic. And you want to see what amenities the neighborhood has to offer. Um, a lot of 55 plus oh, yeah. neighborhoods offer a fitness center, clubhouse. They may have events or activities for socialization. Uh, and some of them will even provide driver services or bus to take your mm -hmm. to you know, doctor's offices or shopping. Yeah, all right there, having it close to you is certainly uh, a good thing for sure. And all that great information, we'll have more on this on OzarksFirst.com. Dr. Barbara Bumberry, thanks for joining us Welcome. this morning. Coming up next.